And one size today does not fit all. One size fit all years ago. Baby boomers, remember? Let me see the baby boomers. Who's got the orange? Let me see where you are. So we can look around and see where the enemy is. No, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. There, they're mad. They're mad at all these kids coming in. And those kids are mad at you. <laughs> they are not thinking the way you're thinking right now. Because they know that by 2025, 75% of the workforce, are you ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Will be Generation Y. was when we ran out of dish soap. I said, man, we're out of dish soap, Jack. And he goes, oh, Grandma, Amazon Prime it. <laughs> so Jack's three. When will Jack be working for you? Because if you think that the millennials are a challenge right now, I've got news for you. Jack's coming. And so our expectations, the way we were raised, the way we look at the world, the way we receive communications will be different. And so we have to gear up and begin to understand that we are living right now in the most awesome time ever. It's a time of transformational changes going on. And are you in or are you out? Because we heard that millennials can't sit still for 20 minutes. They stayed. They were periscoping, I have to admit. They were walking around taking pictures of everyone. It was highly interactive, but this session was fun. So when we start to make generalizations and stereotype young people that they can't sit still, I think they can't sit still when it's boring. The way we receive our media, our information, the way we communicate with each other is changing every day. They're making mixtapes, listen to what they did. Mom is gone. They love their music so much, they were listening to the radio, radio millennials, and they would push the tape recorder up against the radio and they would press play and record at the same time. Well, we don't know why. And they would steal, this was against the law, they broke the law. They would steal music off the radio and they would go into their mixtape. And then she got very creative. Her tapes had themes. Like a, her, her boyfriend broke up with her and all the songs were sad love songs, right? And when she was happy and she fell in love, woo, all love songs. And they had themes and they gave their tapes away. They shared their music. I love this music, I'm going to give it to you. Now think about this. How do we get our music today? How do we share files today? How do we give information today? Thank you, Generation X. You see, Sony was watching you. They were nervous, but they were watching you, and then Apple got the big idea to sell them individually. If you begin to think of how we are receiving, how we are listening, how we are sharing our music, our films, our movies today, it's because of Generation X. When we study young people and we see the behaviors of young people, we get an eye opener to the future. So millennials, we're watching you. I want to open the right side of your brain. When I open the right side of your brain, a lot of what I talked about today is going to stick. But I can only open it with music. And we're going to play a game called Name That Generation. If you can't feel, you know that this was the lawsuit song. <laughs> I am going to bust some myths here today and some of you may be shocked at what I'm going to say but I am a truth teller. So number one is that each generation has their own unique learning style. That's not true. We have preferences. Preferences and I'm saying that because our preferences are the way we were taught when we were a kid. But they can change. 
They're just preferences. So people want the boomer. They feel, oh, they just want to have a sage on stage. They want somebody to talk for 90 minutes to two hours, and everybody takes notes, right? That's what people feel the boomer wants. Gen X wants to be in and out. They want to use their tablets. They want to sit where they want. They want to get up and go. But they want content. But what we're finding is that all generations are here for the relationship. And now we can't live without our phones. When people tell me, I, I hate change. I'm crazy. These changes are driving me crazy. The first thing I say is, do you have a smartphone? Now, I'm looking around in here. Is there anyone that has a flip phone? There could be a few. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, you'll be getting your smartphone soon because the apps have changed our lives, right? I cannot wait for my phone to become a scale. Right? You have a big meal. You just put your phone down. You step on your It's going to happen in my lifetime, right? a lot of tech companies right now and change is scaring them it's driving them crazy because not only is there is their employee and the, the process is at work changing but their product continues to change and right now the acceleration of change is so fast that the changes are going to start happening every year well here's a suggestion Gen X you need a rebranding every employee has a different way of being motivated Because the way we're going to really drive innovation today is to be inclusive. You know that saying, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. <laughs>